Welcome Julie Jensen to Artist Spotlight 2020 with the Millstream Arts Festival. We're also having it in collaboration with the Downtown St. Cloud Art Crawl, but you have been a Millstream Arts Festival artist um, a few times in the past and, and we're really glad to have you here today. Um, could we start out by sharing, could you share who you are and what you do? Uh, well, first of all, thank you very much, Alicia. I'm very happy to be part of the uh, art fair this year. Um, my name is Julie Jensen, and I'm a I make jewelry. Um, mostly, I would consider myself a metal smith. Um, I work with a lot of silver and copper and stones. Okay. So, and I might make all kinds of different jewelry. Wonderful. Could you share your background, how you found jewelry, um, um, how you found to work with copper and, and the metal that you do now? How, what was your journey with this? Okay. Well, I um, was always an artist. I was kind of born that way. I was born into a family of very creative and artistic people. And I could draw from a very young age. And I, my career was a, as a graphic designer also um, I did a lot of writing and editing, and um, but mostly graphic design and illustration. And back in, I don't know, 15, 20 years ago, uh, the beading craze came around and I hopped on that and started making jewelry with beads and, and things. Um, I was working full time as a creative director at a high tech firm in Minnesota, and I uh, and I loved my job, but I was really starting to feel like I needed to be doing something more creative. And so gradually, this this um, kind of hobby morphed into uh, into something that I wanted to do all the time. I took workshops, classes, lessons. I spent a lot of time with people. I spent a lot of time online. I've got this whole library of books and just decided that I needed to learn as much as I possibly could. And as the more I learned, the more I wanted to learn, and the more I could do things, the more I wanted to continue to challenge myself. And so this just became this incredible, overwhelming thing I have, had to do. And so um, I ended up leaving my job uh, a few years ago and kind of plunged into this full time. So. That's how I got here. But I also want to say that when I was a, a youngster, I grew up in northern Minnesota and I was obsessed with agates. And my mom and I and my brother and I, we collected agates all the time. That was our thing. And so and I still have like probably thousands of agates. Um, and so I've always had this desire for uh, and love of stones. And so this jewelry thing just became this way of marrying this love of stones with this other natural material, which is metal, uh, and creating these things that are just, I, I mean, they're very beautiful to me. So that's kind of how I got to where I am. Oh, I love that with the agate story also. You know, that's a that's definitely a northern Minnesota um, you know, growing yeah. up there, you you can't get away from that. That's, that is wonderful. Exactly. Um, so you talked a little bit about, um, the material you work with and, and your story. And, um, when people hold a piece or see a piece of your work, <clears throat> what is the one thing you want them to leave with that you want them to experience, uh, um, as the, after having that, um, connection with a piece? I think it's, um, that, that I that my work is really about nature. It, it it I feel like it's infused with nature. My inspiration is all. I mean, and, and this is true of so many artists because we seem to be more connected with with the natural world. But I I'd like people to feel that it's a that it's some connection to nature. In, in fact, some of my work I. I will take a leaf that I find. Um, I've actually been asked by people to use a particular leaf from a, a tree they love or something special in their yard. And I scan it, I 
and I end up making a piece of jewelry. I don't use the actual leaf, but I use its form, uh, its, its shape, and create something that's really meaningful to people. And that's what I think is important to me is that people have this connection with my work that it, because it's some connection to the natural world. Um, and, and also, I just want to say that my the metals I use I use only recycled material. It's recycled um, copper and it's recycled sterling silver, um, 100%. And I also use stones that I buy from artists, from lapidary artists who who make the stones or who cut the stones. They don't make them. Uh, mm-hmm. They cut the stones. So so I think that's also important for an artist or for a, for someone who who has my jewelry to know that it's. Um, it's it's not doing any harm. Uh, it hasn't. No harm has been done on, in its creation to the to the environment. Mm-hmm. The the natural part. I I know when I've, I've seen your jewelry and held your jewelry, you can really you sense that for sure. I I agree with you on that one. Um, and and people can um, um, purchase your work and and see your work at um, Julie Jensen Jewelry. Um, dot com, um, and then they can also um, see your website, also Julie Jensen um, Jewelry, and they can um, visit there and and see your work and and purchase your work also. So Correct. why don't we start in uh, looking at your work? The first thing we're going to do is look at a video. It looks of a cup that um, that you did. <clears throat> Yes, that is, uh, so that's sterling silver. Uh, some some fine silver is in there as well, and then copper. Um, it's a very heavy duty, uh, I like to call it a goddess bracelet, although it could be a god bracelet. Um, it's got copper accents and uh, the little red stones are garnet. And then, the, of course, the center stone, which is this fabulous agate has it looks like a moon rise to me uh in the center like a moon coming up between two mountains so that's that's that but i i i was just uh compelled to make this uh really heavy duty some kind of powerful bracelet mm-hmm. that agate is beautiful in there and i think that unusual. it is beautiful and uh, are, then we're going to look at an image here of a heart that Mm-hmm. Okay, it's another mm-hmm. agate. Uh, mm-hmm. Beautiful. Uh, it's just a beautiful uh, agate to start with, and then the the artist, the lapidary artist, just made this amazing heart out of it. Mm-hmm. And, and I think chains, that's a little garnet. You in you the create the chains too, don't you? Like, yes, yes. Uh, occasionally, I'll use this. Um, you know. If, a, a store-bought chain, but I, I really prefer to make them myself because I, I think the necklace is a necklace. It's the whole thing. It isn't just a pendant. Mm-hmm. Yes, and the, that is one thing I've noticed about your pieces is you do c- create the chains. That is the important yeah. part of that also. Um, and next is and a pair of ear- earrings. Go ahead. Uh huh. Mm-hmm. So that's that stone is uh, called chalcedony, and it's. Um, uh, it's just a beautiful, glowing um, mineral, uh, and I love it. Um, and it's just those are kind of simple um, hand-stamped uh, discs of sterling silver, and the whole thing is sterling silver. Silver, and the ear wires I also make myself. I I prefer to make everything myself. So, yeah, those are completely hand fabricated, hand created. Mm-hmm. So. Beautiful. And then we have another piece of jewelry here. Pieces of jewelry. Pieces. So, mm-hmm. yeah, the, um, the, uh, uh, the one on the lower left, the, the little uh, bangle bracelet, is uh, um, this, the, the centerpiece there is a, uh, it's called lampwork uh, bead, which I purchased also from lampwork artists. And there are several of them in the across the country that I, I buy from. 
really incredible uh, work goes into those beads. And then it's all hand wrapped, hand fabricated. It's just, it's, it's the, the, the little coils you see on the sides of the, the centerpiece are, there are many, many, many feet of fine sterling wire that is coiled. It's coiled and then it's coiled again. So you get this sort of multiple twisting effect. And then it's coiled around a, uh, um, a sterling silver kind of center um, piece. Um, and it's, it's, uh, it's, a lot of, it's a lot of coiling and a lot of wrapping of, of silver. The other ones are labradorite stones, a uh, ring, and, uh, and then the top one is a chain mail. It's a uh, chain mail is, a, of course, it's an ancient technique. They used to make uh, chain mail um, armor uh, out of steel, obviously, uh, or iron, and, uh, but jewelry artists use it for, uh, for jewelry. So it's very, very tiny rings and i start with just plain sterling silver wire uh of fairly fine gauge which i create um rings from so i i wind it into a coil and i cut the coil which creates these rings and then each ring is individually um opened and closed around another ring and you create these patterns uh there's many many different types of patterns with chain mail and you can uh, create these just wonderful, very fluid um, pieces of jewelry. So, and that supports this fabulous uh, labradorite stone in the center. So um, again, that's all sterling and the, and the ring as well, but all, all handmade. The, the stone is set. Uh, I set the stone into a, a sterling setting, which I make and then um, you know, the band is, is hand fabricated. Everything is hand fabricated from either sheet, uh, sterling silver sheet or uh, wire. Mm -hmm. I think that's very important for people to know, especially with the chain mail piece. That's a very time consuming process. To it do. is. Indeed. And, and, <laughs> you know, and I, I the, having our viewers really know, like, what goes into something like that, the amount of time and then the amount of um, work you do by hand is really important for us to know and even to you know um, to separate from you know there's jewelers that purchase their chains and things like that but knowing that you hand do that I think is a very important thing for our viewers to know about your work yeah. so when they they can go to Julie Jensen Jewelry and um, your website and purchase that and knowing um, that each piece was hand you know, wrapped and, um, and created by you. Um, yeah. the, the next piece, we're, we're going to look at a video here, a, a video that you shared in the email is very important to you. Um, that, yeah. that I'm, that I, that we'll start with here. <laughs> this is, um, this is, what I do when I, I do, well, I, I do this every day. I do this multiple times a day, actually. Um, walking through the woods with my dogs. Um, it's the way I get my inspiration, being in the woods, um, being in quiet, uh, being with my dogs who are my companions, and um exploring and we often go off the trail and just kind of bushwhack through the woods and that's um that's how i recharge that's how i get inspired and um that's what i do <laughs> when i'm not making jewelry mm -hmm. absolutely and you you see that nature connection in your jewelry mm -hmm. like this piece for yeah. example mm -hmm. yeah that was so that's a piece of that's a that's a um a leaf that I found that I just for some reason I uh loved its form uh and I I created that with that leaf I um I did copper uh etching which is a it's a process where you um you take a little a piece of copper that little rectangle of copper and it goes into a uh an acid bath with 
the uh, the form of the leaf uh, applied to the copper to create a resist. And so um, actually, let's see, everything else uh, on the everything else on the copper was a resist, and the acid etched the leaf form. So then you 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 get this piece of copper with the leaf form etched out of it. And then it gets a, a patina in there to create the, the darker contrast. And, and then that was riveted to a, a larger uh, piece of brass. And then, and then um, I created the, the, the bale for it to hang off of. It felt like more of a twig, kind of a way of suspending the pendant than a normal kind of bale. So to me, that all sort of felt very, very, uh, the bale sort of complemented the the leaf, and uh, and then again that was a handmade chain. Mm -hmm. Beautiful. Thank you for sharing the process of the etching. Um, here's Thank another you. piece I think inspired by nature too. Yes, very much so. Um, I do have a particular thing about trees, <laughs> and I I feature trees in a lot of my work, um, and uh, so. I'm also, I also love the, the, the arts and crafts movement, um, you know, from the early 20th century. And I, um, uh, I love the, this, the contrast with using the sterling on top of, uh, of a copper back plate. And again, that's ri they're riveted together um, with a handmade chain. Uh, but I, I make a lot of different um, trees, uh, uh, in different ways, in, in different pieces of jewelry. So it's kind of my favorite uh, subject. Mm -hmm. Here's another piece. Yes. Okay. The, that was, um, that was a, uh, another, the, the frame of the, of the Raven uh, was etched. That's an etched piece, um, and it's there's two pieces actually of etched uh, copper, and in between those pieces is a um, um, it's it's a it's a picture of a raven, which uh, is a um, bird that's very important to me as well, and it's um, it's applied to it's applied to clay actually so that's a piece of clay in there with a, a piece of uh glass on top of it and that's sandwiched in between the copper um and it's uh again it's on a, a handmade uh chain and then it's a patina to give it the the darkened sort of antiqued effect but um the raven is sort of my um it's 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 just a bird that I feel a, a certain connection with. So it's a pendant that I particularly love. Mm -hmm. It is beautiful. And then we have uh, one of our last pieces before a video. This is, oh, here's the chain mail piece here. Yes, that's chain mail. So that is, that is of, of everything you've shown that, that piece took long, the longest of anything. Um, there are probably thousands of rings in that piece, uh, each one individually put together, individually um, uh, put into this pattern and, you know, very repetitive. It's very, it's very zenful doing a piece like that because um, you, you have the pattern and you, you continue to repeat it all the way down. And then uh, <laughs> it's a, um, but it ends up with this very flexible, um, substantial cuff that you um, feels just wonderful on the wrist. I have to admit, I've only made one of those, so I, I after the first time, after the first one, I'm like, I'm not really sure I want to do that again. But uh, I loved it while I was doing it. But it it took it took probably a week of working a few hours every day on it. Wow. Wow. That is, I can see why that's a limited edition type of, yeah, type of a piece limited. of art, type of a piece of art. Um, and then we're going to end with a video here. Okay. Yeah. It's a bunch of different pieces of, uh, there's 
some chain mail. There's other uh, uh, types of uh, it's jasper. There's an, an agate in there. And then that's a piece of rhyolite there on the left on a bracelet. And uh, that's Narina jasper in that large heart piece. Um, that's a very much a statement piece. It's real big. And some rings. Um, with uh, it's a, a blue lace agate there on the end, um, but they're all sterling and copper. And just, it just shows a little variety of, of my work. Mm -hmm. I, yeah, that's important for um, people to see because I'm sure they're, after viewing your work and hearing your process, wondering, does she do this? Does she make this? And, and so thank you for sharing the variety and they can um, visit your website at um, juliejensenjewelry.com and, and purchase pieces through there. And also, I know I, I follow you on Facebook too. So I get to see a really, really good at um, posting regularly, you know, photos of your work and, and what you're doing. So I know people can really um, view your work there and, and probably message you through there also. And, and yes, getting absolutely. connected. Mm -hmm. Yes, absolutely. So do you have a dream project? Um, you know, every project is a dream <laughs> because, um, uh, you, you know, depending on whether the gods are with you or not, um, you, you may be successful or you may melt something completely. Um, but I, I actually have had this, this uh, idea that I would love to do, it would be a long-term project, uh, perhaps a good thing to do over the winter, is to do the, the tarot deck. I'd love to um, do uh, choose one of the decks that, uh, there's millions of them out there, but, uh, and, and, and do the sort of a recreation in sterling and copper with, you know, with stones and just kind of make these little, little, um, tarot cards I think that would be really fun uh -huh. and really challenging and just I I've always kind of like miniature things so I think that would be a fun thing to do oh that what a treasure for for um, somebody <laughs> too to have something like that that is wonderful well we hope to see that in the future and and we <laughs> Thank can you. we can we can follow <laughs> along um, with your journey and and your experiences with nature and and um, how that's brought forth in your jewelry um on your website, juliejensen.com, and also on your Facebook page. Is there anything else you'd like to share before we close our time together, Julie? Well, I I, I want to thank you very much for, for doing all of this. I know it's a tremendous amount of work for you. Um, I am I am going to be um, um, creating a, um, a benefit on my website for... Uh, the wildlife in uh, the Western states that is uh, under all, you know, that is being decimated by the fires right now. And so I'm going to be giving uh, the proceeds of some of my jewelry to that organization. Um, it's a Cal, I forget the name of it exactly. The, uh, it's a wildlife relief fund. And I don't have the name right with me, but I will put it on my website and, uh, just contribute something to that for uh, just to, to, to try to do something to help. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's wonderful, Julie. So um, our viewers can um, go to your site and, and contribute to that. And um, we'll make sure we also put that in the text um, of the video so people can click on it and, and, and okay. go, they go right to it and, and even maybe learn about the wildlife um, fund that we're um, that we're contributing to. So thank you so much Wonderful. for your giving spirit and and sharing your jewelry with us today. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much, Alicia. You're welcome. Bye bye. Bye.